There's a warning today that overuse of the blue reliever inhalers by asthma sufferers could be linked to an increased risk of death. A new study shows that longer acting preventer inhalers, which are normally brown, are much less likely to cause harm. The British Thoracic Society says the use of both inhalers in a managed way is the safest option. Asthma, though unpleasant, rarely kills, but research suggests that using excessive amounts of blue inhalers that relieve the symptoms indicate a patient's asthma is out of control and they could be more likely to die. They should be on the brown preventer inhalers too. What it tells us is that many people have the balance of the inhalers, the balance between preventers and relievers wrong, and it gives us a clear pointer that we should be using more of the inhaled steroids and less of the first aid blue inhalers. So I just take a really big Some asthmatics shy away from the preventer brown inhalers because they contain steroids but the study shows that they can reduce the risk of death by 60 percent and people with severe asthma using more than one blue inhaler a month should consider dual treatment at a glance this may seem like alarming research but really it acts as a marker it allows doctors to see which patients are most at risk of developing fatal attacks by checking how many blue reliever inhalers they get Australian scientists have discovered a natural product from the sea already being used to help arthritis can also relieve the symptoms of asthma. It comes from a mussel in New Zealand and is being trialled with significant results. The healing ability of the humble New Zealand green lip mussel goes back to anecdotal evidence that Maoris who ate them had a much lower incidence of arthritis. Scientists found they contained a substance called lipronol, a discovery which now seems to have wide-reaching benefits. It's inhibiting one of the two major pathways, the inflammatory pathways in the body. Now approved for arthritis treatments, Lipronol has just been trialled on mild asthmatics. Supervised by one of the world's leading experts, it found patients reported significant improvement in their daily symptoms. It has a, an anti-inflammatory action, which is how steroids work in asthma, but this is working through some different mechanism. Patients taking Lipronol continue to take their own asthma medication, but notice they needed less and less. In this study, Lipronol did allow patients to reduce their beta agonist or their reliever use by about 50%, and that is significant. Former Olympic swimmer Samantha Riley, a chronic asthmatic since a child, was heavily dependent on both reliever and preventative medication, but since trialling it, has reduced both medicines dramatically. My husband Tim especially, he thought it was uh, really good and said to me after a couple of months, I think that's the best thing you've ever taken. Doctors stress this trial, which is about to be published in the major European respiratory journal, does not suggest Lipronol can replace medication. We would see this extract, natural extract, as an add-on therapy that might improve control, so perhaps patients may not need to use such a high dose of inhaled steroids. Cheryl Taylor, National 9 News. One of our most admired athletes is adapting to life out of the pool. Samantha Riley recently married. She's also conquering her lifelong problem with asthma, helping to trial a new all-natural product. She started competitive swimming at seven. By 19, she'd conquered the world. Get the gold medal! The fastest ever to swim, the 100 metres breaststroke, she won bronze at the Olympics and gold at the Commonwealth Games. Sam Riley got out of the pool for good. Being retired now for nearly two years, looking back it doesn't really seem like it was me in the water doing all that training, being so dedicated, it seems like it was someone else that did that. <laughs> the incredible life of Riley happened almost by accident. Even when she was breaking world records, there were times when Sam Riley, the asthmatic, had to fight simply to get a breath. I got into the pool because I was a chronic asthmatic. Um, I was diagnosed at the age of four and at the age of seven doctors said to mum and dad we'll get her in the water that'll help improve her lung capacity and yeah as I said it was a bit of a struggle to get me there at, the, at first but after a few weeks I eventually overcame that fear of the water and started to enjoy it. And it's the fight against asthma that's drawn her into the spotlight again trialling a new all-natural treatment called Lipronol. I think a lot of people are sceptical about a lot of the natural medicines these days, but um, for me I was able to reduce my preventative medication and also reduce my reliever medication. Lipronol comes from New Zealand green-lipped mussels, a natural anti-inflammatory. Maoris started using it to relieve arthritis, but it's only recently that scientists have applied it to asthma. They don't say it's a cure, but in 50% of cases it does reduce the need for other medicines, including SAMS.
my husband Tim especially, he thought it was uh, really good and said to me after a couple of months, I think that's the best thing you've ever taken. Just don't ask her how they get the magic ingredient out of them. I don't know the scientific side behind it, but maybe it's best you don't know. <laughs> Tonight, the new pill that's having amazing results with chronic asthma and arthritis sufferers. I think it's great because it really worked. If you believe in medical miracles, this story will convince you some people are almost angels when it comes to caring for the sick and elderly. In my career, I've been hospitalised about 19 or 20 times. Yeah, shortness of breath and the wheezing, it's a horrible feeling. <laughs> yeah, not something that you want to go through. Swimming saved Sam Riley from asthma, but when the champion breaststroker retired two years ago, she was once again struggling to breathe. Well, basically, when I stopped swimming, my asthma really went downhill, and I was pretty much taking all of this um, twice a day. A cocktail of all this. Yeah, bit of a cocktail of drugs. <laughs> Pittman lucky to make the final after having an asthma attack during her qualifying rounds. Sam Riley isn't the only athlete struggling for air. Teenage hurdler Jana Pittman almost failed to qualify for the Manchester Games because of asthma. I was on a lot of puffers. I was always in and out of, during winter periods, in and out of hospital and things like that. And, you know, you can have a really great day and train well, and then it can come down the next day, and just because you can't breathe, you can't train well. Remarkably, help for Yana and Sam Riley came from a quiet corner of New Zealand where green lip mussels are harvested and made into Liprinol, a tablet sold as an anti-inflammatory for arthritis sufferers. I started on the Liprinol in November last year and since then I've been able to just cut back to the Liprinol, my Ventolin and one preventative. So would you say it's half the, the amount of medication you're taking? Um, easily halved, yeah. Probably more. More than halved? It must be a relief. It is actually because, um, you know, it's not nice to have to rely on that medication so much. I'm really confident about going into Commonwealth Games that Lipronol's behind me and that hopefully with their help that, you know, there will be no problems in, in the final race and we can come back with good results. You've kept a diary? I've kept a diary, yes. The link between Lipronol and relieving asthma was discovered by accident when people like Regina Casey started using it for their arthritis. Also a chronic asthma sufferer, Regina started keeping a diary four years ago. The 11th, no breathing problems, so ceased Palmacourt. So less than two weeks later you were able to stop using that drug? Yes, yes. How surprised were you by that? Very surprised. Regina became a case study and similar experiences overseas were also recorded. Over the last four, few, four years, only a few severe attacks. And how does that compare with the time before you were taking Lipronol? Um, much improved. So it was something of a lifesaver? Definitely, yeah, a real lifesaver. We don't know precisely how it works, but we do have quite a lot of information that's been developed over the years. Professor Robert Boland was one of the first scientists to make the connection between Lipronol and asthma relief. We have studies which show that it, it improves the condition of patients with rheumatoid arthritis, improves the condition of patients with some with asthma and so on. I think it's great because um, for most of my life I've been on a lot of steroidal medication and it's nice to be able to supplement that with something that's natural. While Sam Riley admits the company marketing Lipronol approached her to try it, Sam says she was sceptical. But the thought that Lipronol has no known side effects was enough to convince her. They explained that it was a natural anti-inflammatory and that it, it worked very well for arthritis and that it had some success with asthmatics as well. So, um, yeah, I thought there was no harm in trying it. And as I said, it, it really worked. There's no question that it helps. There's, there's very reasonable evidence on that. Uh, what we don't know is how much it helps and in what sort of asthma. The trials to date, there was a trial in St. Petersburg in Russia which was in mild asthmatics, which showed quite significant benefit, but it's never been tested in more severe asthmatics. Professor Charles Mitchell speaks for the Asthma Foundation. A respiratory specialist, he's now doing the first Australian trials on Lipronol. If this drug is at least moderately effective and has a very low side effect profile, then that's got to be good for people with asthma. So at this stage, would it be fair to say that you're cautiously optimistic? I'm cautious. While it will be six months before Professor Mitchell completes his study, many sufferers have already got the results they want.
it has really, really honestly worried me that I could get to Commonwealth Games with all the change of environmental sort of things that my lungs could have a reaction to the aller allergies in the air. And to think that possibly this would, you know, even cut out 50% of that chance is something that sort of gives me a lot of confidence going into the Games. I think, obviously, you know, 100% of people won't get a success rate out of this, but I think it's definitely worth giving a try um, and giving it, you know, a couple of months to see if you've improved or not. Well, obviously, that was our asthma pill story. The gremlins seem to have got us tonight. But Professor Mitchell is looking for more asthma sufferers to take part in his Lipronol trials. So if you're interested, you can call the PA hospital on 3240 7100.